I've barely gone anywhere. Um, and then, yes. you know, but Minmus sounds like probably my best bet. Take the landing legs if you want to go some some other planets. Other planets, I don't think, are in, are in the cards tonight, but Minmus, possibly. Kevin Moons. Kevin Moons. Moonlander 3. So, different landing legs, or I have landing legs, but. There's micro landing strut, I think that's what I'm already using. LT5. Those micros are good. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have anything else. So, what do we need to change from a moon landing to a Minmus landing, or even a Minmus? You know, right now we can go with a Minmus flyby. I have that mission. Um, you need just like sixty. I'd like to land, but you need how much? Uh, one hundred twenty. Extra Delta V. Okay, this craft has 8,000. Uh, 8,198. Did, did you land with this craft to the moon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it landed and came back. Uh, how how much Delta V you, you had left when you uh, came back? I don't. I think we actually burned off some at the end. Um, but it had to. It it actually had to burn it at the end to stop. Otherwise, it's going to be a long series of arrow breaks. It would have worked, ultimately, but it was going to be a long, long flight back. Okay, the landing requires like 400, 400 less on minimum than moon, so the savings come from there. The same graph will go easily to minimus and back. Okay. I don't know if I'm spelling that right. Minmus, M I, well, actually, it's right here. Just one in. Any extra science I should take now that I have? I think I have. So you're saying not to take the mobile processing lab? That's obviously going to change everything. Yeah, it's a huge. We have the science junior. I have a barometer. Thermometer on here somewhere. There it is. Two mystery goo. Good to go. Anything I need to know about going to Minmus before I go? The Minimus orbit is a little bit inclined. So you need to do little angle change in the Kerbis orbit. Okay. Is that going to be in that chart? Do you know what the angle is?
it only shows shows it when you get the orbit. You can see it from the flight engineer if you click the rendezvous tab open. That there you can see the inclination. But the flight engineer where? Itself doesn't give it to you yet. Okay, rendezvous. Target, phase angle, intercept angle, relative inclination, that's what I'm looking for, I guess. Yeah. Um, is it should be something like 6. Yeah, it's 5.9. So yeah, 6 yeah. is good. Uh, now where it says time to relative ascending node, relative descending node, does that mean if I waited here, it's going to do that? No, it's not changing at all. I was thinking if I wait the orbit, here we wait for that, no, but no. So with that, um, am I gonna like I'm I'm on the ninety, so am I gonna take that to eighty um, eighty four, or am I gonna take it to ninety six? I don't know which way to add that. I guess if I launch, that's uh, gonna start changing on its own. Uh, look, look from the minimus side. So you're facing to Gerbin. So if the path is going like up to the north, then then you take the six degrees off from the ninety. So you would go eighty three and add the six to the ninety if, if it goes to the south pole. That's the way I do it. I, I know there's info on the Rindavos somewhere which tells you when to launch yeah on rendezvous it does say um i mean these angles are we have phase angle and intercept angle are constantly changing um and even the relative inclination is changing a bit as time passes but the time to relative ascending node and time to relative descending node is not changing at all but maybe that's once i start launching then it's going to Give me that. I don't know. I figure if I launch and I rotate a little bit, it should, uh, this relative inclination to change. If I'm going the wrong way, it'll increase. Uh, no, the polar over it, I'm not doing right now. I think the face angle is cool. changing, changing because the curbing itself is rotating. Right. Exactly. But I don't have knowledge what the face angle actually is. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Well, phase angle almost makes it seem like it would be that. So I think I'm going to go to my right a little bit, which would bring it over to 90. Actually, it's since lowering. I don't. We're just gonna have to launch and find out. Honestly, there's only one way to do it. Let's let's see what happens to this number as I oh, move it. So, if yeah. You, actually, you can see your target marker. It's right below the horizon at the moment, mm -hmm. and that way, where you can see it, is the 90 degrees on the horizon. So the 94, it's pretty good actually on the spot, the phase angle. Okay. Okay, so don't worry about the relative inclination, go at the phase angle, aim at that. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the place where the planet will be, probably. Yeah, uh, that's the place where the planet is actually right now. Three, two, so, oh, ignore the target. Target disappeared. Now there was actually some science you can do on the launch pad. 
Was there? Yeah. Uh, I, I did saw a blue bar. Okay, uh, atmospheric pressure scan. Give me something. Now I can go and reset that from space later, right? I don't have to get out and do that now. And I could do the collect for I could just reset that. Yeah, it's, it's, re it's reusable. You hey can just guys. Send the data. I will see y'all tomorrow. Or right, later well. today. Yeah, Something right. like that. Have a good night. You too. Do I need to start bringing it down towards that? Just go a little bit first. Keep eye on that relative inclination. The change difference will slow down at some point. So you want to stop there, stop the turning on that point. Um, <clears throat> I stopped burning before that. Um, it. I'm not sure how I was supposed to to fix that it oh, you are good. it's come you down are good. some yeah so I've, I've I've already stopped and I'm at you know I've got an Apo of 76 uh, that from your chamber. I pulled the note a little far here yeah but you managed to get like 1.2 degrees off from the inclination difference at, on the launch 